welcome back everyone so today i will be sharing seven windows registry hack that will be surely blowing your mind yes because these registry hack will be helping you in many different ways and you can make many kind of changes on your computer without using any kind of third party tool so without any delay let's quickly get started now before starting i would recommend you that kindly go ahead and create a restore point in case if you want to revert the action due to any changes then you can easily do that it's very simple you have to click on your window search type restore and from the suggestion you have to click on create a restore point now here at the bottom you will find the create option and in case if the create option is not being highlighted then you can click on configure and make sure the system protection has been enabled then you have to click on apply and ok now click on create and here you have to give any kind of restore point name that can be any name or any kind of date I will give a name here registry hack so that I can identify that when exactly and for why I created a restore point. So you can choose any name then you have to click on create and it will take few seconds to create a restore point. And once it will be done it says the restore point was created successfully. Now in future if you want to restore your computer back then again you have to come to the same page and click on system restore. Click on next. And here you will find your restore point that you created so you have to select it click on next and once you click on finish the computer will be restoring to that particular date okay so once you have created now let's move with the registry hack and the very first hack that i will be sharing will be disabling the windows lock screen so when you start the computer a screen come before entering the password that goes away when you press any key it serves no other purpose than showing a beautiful picture with some extra information. And many people like me find this screen really annoying. That is an extra step to access your PC. And if you want to remove it, then you can easily do that using the registry. So in order to bring up the registry, you have to click on your window search, type registry. And from the suggestion, you have to click on registry editor. Click on yes. And the registry editor will be up. Now here from the left in menu option you have to click on H key local machine double click on it then you have to look for the software here double click on the software folder and then you have to look for policies double click on policies then you have to double click on Microsoft and then you have to look for windows so once you come to the windows folder here you have to make a right click on it then hover up to new and choose key and rename this key as personalization once done you have to click on personalization then on the right hand side make a right click on the blank space hover up to new choose dot 32 bit value and rename it as no lock screen then make a double click on it and change the value data from 0 to 1 now click on ok and now the next time when you will restart your pc you will not find that lock screen coming up all right, so now let's move with the next registry hack that will be getting the old context menu. Now on Windows 11, many people don't like when you make a right click on your desktop. It comes up with like this. And in order to view all the option, you have to click on show more option every time. And then you get the other option over here. So if you don't like this option going to show more option all the time, then you can easily disable it and bring back the old context menu on your Windows 11. So again you have to click on your windows search type registry click on registry editor click on yes there in the registry editor from the left in menu option you have to click on h key current user then you have to look for software folder double click on it and then you have to look for classes double click on it and in the classes you have to look for entry by the name cls id so scroll down and you will find cls id now once you get CLS ID, you need to make a right click on it, hover up to new, then you have to click on key and then you have to rename this key by this path. This path you will be getting in the description so you can copy and paste over here. And once this key is created, again you have to make a right click on it, hover up to new, again click on key and rename this key as disk name that will be in pro server 32. And all these entries you will be getting in the description so you can copy or manually type over here from the description so now once you have created this key on the right hand side you will find the default entry you have to make a double click on it 
and make sure there is nothing in the value data now you have to click on ok and now if i go back and restart or just restart the windows explorer so for that i need to bring up the task manager and then you have to look for the windows explorer right click on it and click on restart and now this time if i make a right click on my windows 11 desktop you will find that this is the old context menu that i got back similarly if you click on any of the application you can see this is the old context menu that you just bring back without using any kind of third party application okay and now the next hack is also related to the context menu so when you make a right click on your desktop you get few this kind of option and if you want to add any of your favorite application or program over here so that you can quickly access it like any of your browser or any of your notepad anything then you can also easily do that so again you have to bring up the registry editor and then here from the left hand menu option you have to click on h key classes root that is on the very top double click on it and then you have to look for entry by the name directory so scroll down to the d section and look for directory once you get the directory make a double click on it then you have to look for the background double click on it and then you will find shell folder over here now make a right click on the shell folder or up to new click on key and now here you need to type the name of that program that you want to add in the context menu so this can be your browser like google chrome microsoft edge whichever you want to so let's say if i want to add microsoft edge i will type microsoft edge and once it's been created again make a right click on microsoft edge or up to new and then click on key and name it as command now click on command and on the right hand side you will find the default entry make a double click on it now here in the value data you have to add the path of that particular application or program that you want to add in the context menu so in order to get the path type the name of the application in the search box like i will type microsoft edge then make a right click on the application then click on open file location again make a right click on microsoft edge click open file location and now to copy the path from here so right click on it and choose copy go back paste in the value data and click on ok and now if i go back and make a right click on the desktop so you can see the microsoft edge has been added over here similarly you can add any other kind of application like notepad or anything that you use very frequently okay now the next registry hack that we have is speeding up the shutdown time so when you shut down your pc windows gives a bit of time to running application to save their data before it force closes them but if you really want to speed up the shutdown time then what you can do bring up the registry editor again then from the left hand menu option you have to click on hk local machine then you have to click on system and in the system you have to look for current control set double click on it then you have to look for control and once you click on control on the right hand side you will find an entry here way to kill service timeout now make a double click on it and the value data change it to 1000 now the value inside it is in milliseconds so you can keep between 5000 to 1000 okay so by default it will be 5000 you can also make it to 2000 but for the fastest shutdown i will make it to 1000 now just you have to click on ok and you are all done now the next time when you will be shutting down the computer or you will be restarting it will be doing the task very fast for you all right so now in the next registry hack we will be enabling the photo weaver that was the old windows feature and i really like that windows photo weaver and if you are also fan of that old photo weaver and if you want to enable back again on your windows 11 or 10 then you can easily do that with the registry so now for that you will be getting this registry code over here because there are lots of entries so instead of manually doing that what you can do you will be getting this link you need to copy all these path these entries from here and once you copy it you need to come to your desktop make a right click or up to new choose text document open the document paste all these registry file and once you have pasted you have to click on file then click on save as and then you have to rename it as windows photo weaver and then you have to add the extension dot reg 
Now you can save it to your desktop or wherever you want to and then click on save. Now once you click on save, so you will find that this registry has been created on your desktop. Now next what you have to do, just make a double click on it. Then click on yes. And again you can click on yes. And then click on ok. And now onwards, if you bring up your pictures and if you make a right click on it and hover up to open with, so you will find the Windows Photo Weaver has been now enabled and it's now showing you in the list. And if you click on it, so you can see it's coming up with the Windows Photo Weaver. Okay, so if you want to enable this option, then you can enable it. It's all up to you. Okay, now next we will be bypassing the TPM and the CPU checks to install Windows 11 update. So if you have somehow upgraded to Windows 11 from Windows 10 but are unable to install new Windows 11 update as your requirement are not met, so do not worry, Microsoft has itself detailed a registry hack that allow you to install Windows 11 update even on unsupported hardware. So again, you will have to bring up the registry editor. Then from the left-hand menu option, double click on HQ local machine. Then you have to look for system. Then you have to look for setup. Double click on it. And in the setup, you will be getting an entry by the name MO setup. But in case if you don't find it, then you can make a right click on the setup. Or up to new, click on key and rename this key as MO setup. You need to type exactly as it is. Now, once you have created, select MO setup, then on the right hand side, right click on the blank space over up to new, click on dual 32 bit value and rename with allow upgrade with unsupported TPM or CPU. You need to type exactly. I will leave this name in the description. You can copy and paste as well. Once you have created, make a double click on it and change the value data from 0 to 1. And now click on OK. And the next time when you restart your computer, you would be successfully able to update your Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Okay, now let's move with the last registry hack that will be helping you to disable the Windows automatic update on Windows 11. Now many people want to disable the automatic update and if you are one of them, then you can easily do that. So again, you have to click on your Windows search, bring up the registry and here from the left hand menu option, you have to click on HQ local machine. Then you have to double click on software. Then you have to look for policies. Then double click on Microsoft. In the Microsoft, you have to look for Windows. Double click on Windows. Then you have to look for Windows update. If you don't find Windows update, then you can make a right click on Windows. Hover up to new. Click on key. Name it as Windows update. Then again, make a right click on Windows update. Hover up to new. And rename it as AU both in the capital letter and now you have to select AU and then on the right hand side make a right click on the blank space over up to new choose dot 32 bit value and rename it as no auto update type exactly and then you have to double click on it and again change the value data from 0 to 1 now click on OK and close it and now the next time when you restart the computer the automatic update on Windows 11 will be disabled so that's all guys for today. So these were the best 7 registry hack that you can try on your Windows 11 or 10 and you will not have to use any kind of third party tool. And hopefully guys you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.